Namaste beautiful yogis, welcome to Ali Kamenova Yoga. I'm Ali and today we're doing a class called Posterior Anterior Chain plus some side body. And let's begin and let's flow with love, strength and ease. Starting at the front of the mat, roll the shoulders back and down. Bring your hands over your belly. And shift your awareness to your breath. Doing diaphragmatic breathing, bringing the breath down into the belly. Just a few slow, deep breaths can shift you from a stressed state. They can transition your nervous system to a relaxed state, calm state, centered state. Now tune into your body and just experience yourself in the body, to just put it in very simple, crude terms. Get an experience of your consciousness inside your body, of you physically in the body, the internal workings of the body. Bring your awareness to your skin, to your senses, the sounds you're hearing, uh, what you're smelling, the vision, maybe the third eye vision, if your eyes are closed. Just pay attention to your sensations, the skin, how the skin is receiving uh, the stimuli from the environment. How the breath feels upon touching your nose upon entering into the lungs. Slowing down, there is no rush, paying attention to your body. There is no need to rush. This moment is everything. And when we are always in a hurry for the next moment, life just slips away. We're always in the apex. the culmination moment of our consciousness culminating, of our consciousness colliding. And when we rush from moment to moment, we miss that experience of our current self, which is the most evolved self on our evolutionary path. Because it's the self in contact with timelessness. It's not just the current self, it's all that we are. Slowing down the inhalation and exhalation. An absorbing feeling, experiencing the moment. If you rush to the next moment, to the next us, to the next you, you'll be a different you in that moment. You won't be this you that you're now. And this is the one to really soak in, to really experience with gratitude, with love, with wonderment. All right, from here, we're going to open the arms to the side, extend 
the tailbone ever so slightly if you need to you can check in and see so that you find you find the place where you engage um, your lower belly and your core and sometimes you may uh, want to sway back and forth a little bit to see where you want to stand engaging the core and we're gonna bring the arms parallel to the floor um, bending at the elbows and we're going to lower here and lift lower and lift lower and lift lower and lift Step a little wider, bend the knees just ever so slightly and, and you're going to feel your pelvis if it's, as if it's um, a vessel, like a boat on a water body and you're going to sway, just connecting with all the, um, the structure that supports the pelvis, which is a very complex structure. And see how the motion of the pelvis allows you to connect to your core, to your back. Great. Now we're going to soften the hips, soften the knees. Standing with soft softness in the joints so you're not overextending the joints and you're going to shift to one side but we're twisting the entire body not just from the belly and then to the other side feel your upper body upper back opening here great now we're going to bring the hands over the chest and we're gonna shift from one side to the other and look behind you so your eyes are an extension of this movement if you feel your spine uh, like this organic one system one structure and the head and the neck are part of that spine uh, the eyes are an extension of it so you're following uh, following through with the movement open the chest widen the back here and you can feel how your elbow is assisting to get in into the small muscles in the upper back great now we're gonna steady steady the um, hips and we're gonna move from the center Great. Inhale and reach over the head. Arch. Now we're stretching the anterior chain. Exhale, diving down, stretching the posterior chain. Inhale, halfway up, look ahead of you. Spread the fingers open, step back, blink. Take the left knee in and across. So you're gonna step your left foot somewhere behind your right hand and you're going to kick to the side with the right hand and reverse it. And you can change size. So this is working a little bit on the side body, on the obliques. Use your core. A few more. Right leg steps across, left leg kicks and back. 
All right, that's a good warm up. Step it back and lower down onto your belly. Elbows in, drop the shoulders away from the ears, lengthen through the crown of the head. Inhale, lift. Here you're engaging the back of the body. And extend the left arm up, right leg comes up. Bring your left elbow in and lower them down. Lift, elbow in, lower them down. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Change. All right, let's lower. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, lower down, child's pose, sit back onto your heels, you can bring your hands right where your kidney area is and I want you to give them light taps, just a very gentle tap on the kidneys, this is a longevity, um, um, anti-aging, let's say rejuvenation move because you're knock knock on the kidneys and stimulating them to do their job. They're the center of vitality. And now relax here, breathe into the kidneys. And take plank. Here we're going to bring the left arm forward, right knee in, drop them back and repeat the same side. Three, four. Now if you want to modify it, you can lift the left arm and step the right foot in and drop it. And that will make it a little easier. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Opposite side, right arm, and either step it in or lift it in. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, and child's pose again. You can either have the hands facing each other, the palms of the hands, or you can have them resting by your feet. Either way, drop the shoulders so that they're relaxing. Inhale the hands over the head, tuck your toes under and take downward facing dog. Inhale the right leg up, 
Step it through between your hands and come up, high lunge. Take nice high lunge here, you're going to press back into your uh, heel. Right knee above the ankle, not too much. You don't want it to overlap and be over the toes. Over time, all of those things become second nature. You just naturally align in, a, in harmony, in accordance with what the body needs. Now we're going to lean forward. So think of, think of not just bending over from the back and giving in into the bell, belly, but you're going to lengthen and hinge at the hips. And from this position, from this hinging position, you're going to bring the arms to the side, elbows out, and we're gonna lift and lift, contracting the back muscles. So when you lift, you're gonna really flex the back muscles. If you are a gym person, and this is light, of course, compared to machines, use isometric flexion and you it will be strong enough so now you can come all the way in and open one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and warrior three you're gonna stand on one leg level the hips and we're going to touch the floor and come up to standing, hinging, crunching, touch the floor. So deadlifts are the ultimate posterior chain exercise. Four, really use your uh, hamstrings, Ten. and step it back in high lunge now we're going to step at the front and just kick ballet style behind ten times one two three four five six seven eight nine ten back to high lunge lower down and lower all the way onto your belly Cobra and take your toes under down dog. Mm. Inhale the left leg up. Step it through. High lunge. And we're gonna, hinging at the hips, we're gonna lean forward, activate the back muscles, and let's bring the arms together and open and flex. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten and transition into warrior to your airplane standing on the left leg lift the right leg behind you pull the belly in let's touch the floor and scrunch it in feel the front of the body here you're hinging you're not bending two Three, four, five, six, 
seven, eight, nine, and ten. Step it back in high lunge. And step at the front for 10 kicks again. We're activating the back side of the body. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Lunge and lower down to all fours. Inhale, look up. And exhale, round the back and hold this for a moment. Inhale, arch. Exhale, round the back. Great. Plank. Spread the fingers open. You want to take as much weight off of a certain part of the uh, wrist. You want to distribute it evenly and press into each and every knuckle and base the finger evenly. That ensures that you're really placing proper weight onto the hand and that strengthens the wrists as well. Usually when we hear about wrist problems is because of not using the hand properly. If standing on, if your planks and such bother you, you can always hold for part of the time. You can skip the leg stuff and just hold here so that you're strengthening the, the shoulders and back and chest, upper body all together. Otherwise, plank. And we're going to tap the left shoulder with the right hand, drop it back and bring the left leg up. Tap again, same side, left leg. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Opposite side. Left hand to the right shoulder, right leg. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, working on the, that was the Mostly the anterior, but it was also the back of the body. Lower down, reach behind you, okay. uh, palms of the hands facing each other, and lift here. Lift, 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 working on the entire back side of the body, strengthening it. Great, from here, lift up and sit, sit onto your bum. Sit on the bumps. <sighs> Leaning back, engaging the core, open the chest, drop the shoulders down. And we're gonna gently pose forward and then open the left elbow back, engaging the shoulder, pose forward, right. Now you're gonna get a rhythm here. Core back, pay attention. Great, hands behind you, and we're going to go into tabletop. Now, in tabletop, you're going to have your fingers facing in towards your feet, your feet about hip width apart, toes forward. Um, same alignment as with everything else, knees over the ankles, not so much over the uh, toes. Lift 
and hold here. Great. Sit back down and with a straight back you can bring your hands on the side of the hips and push yourself forward in a forward bend but not a very um, intense one more of a more aligned one you're just going to lean forward here and stretch the hamstrings great hands behind you fingers pointing in towards you and we're going to take a reverse plank One vertebra at a time, you're going, going to lower yourself down onto the floor. <sighs> Extend your arms above your head. And here we're going to take only the right hand to the left leg. Right, left. You can cross them over or just touch the toe or aim for elbow to knee level, something like that. It depends on what challenges you find a, a good challenge for yourself here where you can really connect with the core and your muscles to press the extended leg down three four five six Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Opposite side. We're almost done. One, focus. Two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, now we're alternating. Anterior chain, posterior chain, keep moving. Here you're going to bring your, <laughs> you're going to scoot your arms underneath you, shoulders opening, rotating, uh, the sides of the shoulders are rotating down towards the floor and you're going to lift your booty just halfway so that you can clasp your hands and shimmy your shoulders, have your feet about hip width apart, same alignment, toes forward and lift here, bridge. Free the space around your throat. Hold. And slowly release. You can bring the knees together. Hold here for a moment. And extend the legs on the floor. Relax your arms down. Soften the shoulders, soften the face. Letting go. Tuning in and experiencing yourself as one with the universal flow.
consciousness, with the one consciousness, one mind, one heart, one love. The experience of that oneness is also protective of dissonant energies around you. So instead of surrounding yourself uh, constantly as a way of protection and protecting yourself from energies around you, sinking in with the universal mind allows you to be fully protected, fully in the flow. And stay here for as long as you need to, allowing yourself to flow with love, strength and ease. Namaste. And I'll see you tomorrow.